Well, there's three intriguing competitions in Melbourne at the weekend. There's the AFL, there's the Formula One Grand Prix and there's the Aston by-election, which will be Peter Dutton's first real test as Liberal leader. Now, the Liberals are pretty confident of holding the seat, but there's a few nervous Nellies, not helped at all by polling leaked to Sky News today, showing that Peter Dutton's popularity in Aston is not exactly high. Uh, listen to these statistics. So only 21% of people in Aston had a favourable view of Peter Dutton, compared to 50% who were unfavourable, 24% who weren't sure, and 5% who hadn't heard of Mr Dutton. Who? That's pretty Peter amazing. Dutton? He's Who's the leader that? of the opposition, yeah, the leader of the Liberal Party. No, we would never have known. Yeah, doesn't have any position on The Voice. Anyway, I think, Caleb, that, uh, you know, opposition leaders typically aren't that popular anyway, mm. especially at not at this point in the election cycle, yeah. and the Liberals have got a good local candidate, so uh, I don't know that Mr Dutton's unpopularity is going to matter that much. Yeah, I think we're sort of over-egging the pudding here if we talk about, you know, this being the great test for Dutton's leadership. Sure, as I said the other night, if the opposition loses this by-election, it will be the first by-election mm -hmm. a government has won from the opposition in 103 years. And that is definitely something the Libs should worry about on a broader scale. But I don't think barely, well, not even one year into a first-term government. You can go around saying, well, you know, the opposition leader is not terribly popular when the government is clearly still in what you might call its honeymoon period yeah. mm. and use this as some kind of yardstick to say, well, Dutton has to go. He really hasn't been given any time to prove himself yet, but it's really the voice of the people in Aston that matters. Here's what a few had to say to Sky News today. Alan Touch wasn't much chop, was he? Um, so it wasn't so much about policies, it's more about the person. The cost of living has actually gone up, so that's pretty much what we'll be looking at. I think Liberals have lost their way. Um, I'm not convinced that Labor's right either. Is it a vote for the people? Is it a vote for the economy? I mean, so many choices this yeah. year, isn't there? Now, obviously, there you had one punter saying the Liberals have lost their way, and I don't think she's alone in that view, but there was also clearly an undercurrent of I'm voting on the cost of living and the economy, and you'd have to think that will go in the opposition's favour.